Brian Crabtree Show On Demand. Catch Brian live and local. Weekday starting at 4 on Biz 1190. Replay at 9 p.m. on AM 920 The Answer. Details at biz1190.com. New study out. University of New Hampshire says that more white people are dying than being born in 17 states. That's a third of the U.S. The big ones in that uh, picture are Florida, New Mexico, Pennsylvania, West Virginia. Those comprise of 38% of the U.S. population. That's a big shift from 2004 when only four of the states of those 17 had more white deaths than births. Now, the net effect nationwide is there's about 100,000 more white people born every year as of the latest study, the latest numbers, than there are deaths. There was an increase of 5.8% during the financial crisis. There has also been a huge uptick since the financial crisis was already going, but it's really ramped up uh, in the white population, particularly middle-aged men dying from opioid abuse, suicide, and problems associated with obesity, all things that happen when there is a cultural decline in a segment of the population. See, whether it's Obama's fault or Bush's fault or whatever, it's just our fault. What's happened is minorities haven't gotten any better. In fact, they've gotten worse. But at a rate, at a a percentage, minorities have found a degradating cultural situation. But the white population, or at least a large segment of it, a large swath of it, has found an even more precipitous, negative degradation, making it resemble a lot of what we've seen from minorities over the course of many years. I got to thinking when I was putting this together, I don't know why this thought came to my mind, but I thought about abortion for a minute. And I've always been concerned with why the black population, and by their nature more liberal than conservative, can tolerate Planned Parenthood, which was founded in the 1920s by a lady uh, of the name Margaret Sanger. And the mission statement was to exterminate the black population through abortion because it was believed that they would use it far more per capita than anyone else. And this is some, some liberal you know, uh, a beacon of, of liberalism and progressive politics. And I was like, wow, that's amazing. I can't understand how they could tolerate that. And then I looked at the numbers. Well, yes, the black population, which is 13% of the country, does conduct 37% of the abortions, almost threefold the number of the population. But 39% of the abortions are still white. So if you believe that the white population is somehow the cause of the racism and bigotry in the country, the white population is being exterminated far more quickly by abortion and things like Planned Parenthood than it is any other population. 8% are of other descent, 25% Hispanic. That makes some sense. But what's really in those numbers is not about the politics of it. It's about the reality of where we are as a country. We as a country have found ourselves in a situation where not only are minorities' conditions getting worse, but now the white population, or at least a large swath of it, is seeing an even more precipitous decline, such that it's turning to opioid abuse, heroin, suicide, and eating to soothe the anxiety and tensions, which is leading to a more rapid death. This is something we got to fix. Thanks for listening to The Brian Crabtree Show On Demand.